feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please Lord give me a sign If you're a game developer, you're probably familiar with Unity and Godot Two of the most popular game engines available And whether you're just starting out or you're a seasoned pro Choosing the right game engine can be a tough decision I make 2D games and recently I've been struggling with the decision between Unity and Godot. I have to find a solution before the next Metroidvania month game jam, which starts 12 days from the making of this video. So I did some research and uncovered a wealth of valuable information. So sit back, relax and let's dive into the world of Unity and Godot. By the end of this video, I hope you'll have a better understanding of which game engine is right for you and I'll even share my own personal choice for making my games. Unity is the king of platform support. It supports a wide range of platforms including mobile, desktop, web and console. Godot on the other hand is more focused on desktop and mobile platforms but it's still a solid choice if those are your main targets. Unity is like the Swiss army knife. It can do pretty much anything you need, but if all you need is a pair of scissors, Godot might be the better choice. Unity uses c -sharp for scripting, while Godot uses its own scripting language called GDScript, which is similar to Python, but it does offer support for c -sharp. However, that comes with its own challenges. If you're already familiar with c -sharp, Unity might be the better choice for you. But if you're looking to learn a new language, GDScript might be more appealing. Unity is like being an expert in cooking gourmet cuisine. It's impressive and highly regarded. But there may not be a need to learn a new recipe if you already have a trusted dish in your kitchen. Godot is like exploring new spices and flavors in cooking. It's still a valuable addition to your culinary skills, but you may not use it as frequently. Unity provides powerful support for both 3D and 2D game development, while Godot has a stronger focus on 2D game development, though it still provides some good support for 3D. Unity is like a five-course meal. It's comprehensive and offers a wide range of options, but it can also be overwhelming. On the other hand, Godot is like a simple yet satisfying sandwich. It may not have as many options, but it gets the job done and leaves you feeling content. Unity is known for its high performance, but it can be resource intensive. Whereas, Godot is more lightweight and optimized for indie game developers. Unity is like a sports car. It's fast and flashy, but it can be expensive to maintain. Godot is like a scooter. It's simple and efficient, but it might not have all the bells and whistles. Unity has a large and active community with a wealth of resources and tutorials while Godot has a smaller but constantly growing community. Unity is like a big city. There's always something happening and there's plenty of resources available. Godot is like a small town. It's tight-knit and friendly, but it might not have everything you need. Unity has a free version and a paid pro version while Godot is completely open source and free to use. Unity is like a hybrid car. It has a basic version that gets the job done, but you may end up paying for more advanced features. Godot is like a fully electric vehicle. It's powered by community support and available to everyone for free, with no hidden costs or upgrades required. Unity has a complex user interface, while Godot has a simpler, more intuitive user interface that's easier to learn and use. Unity is like a computer. You can do a lot of things, but you might take a while to figure out how to use it. 
Godot is like a smartphone. It's simple, but you might miss out on some of the fancy features. Unity has a large, well-stocked asset store, while Godot has a smaller and less established asset store. Unity is like a big box store. It has everything you need, but you might have to sift through a lot of junk to find what you're looking for. Godot is like a small boutique. It may not have as much, but what it has is high quality. At the end of the day, choosing between Unity and Godot is a matter of personal preference and the specific needs of your project. Both engines have their strengths and weaknesses, and both are capable of creating amazing games. Just remember, the most important thing is to have fun and enjoy the process of game development. As for myself, I've decided to stick with Unity for the time being. I've been using Unity for the past three years, and it provides all the necessary features I need for my current project. However, I'm not closing myself off to the possibility of using Godot in the future. I'm keeping a watchful eye on its expanding community and the advancements it's making in terms of features. So it's just like choosing between a slice of cheese pizza or a full dinner, including dessert. Both are delicious in their own way. It just depends on what you're in the mood for. So now it's your turn to make your selection. Thanks for being a part of my game development journey and let's continue building worlds one pixel at a time.